guys praise jesus and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm becky bex i bring you awesome fun and timely content on all my platforms so subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel guys y'all that watch my videos without subscribing why why are you not subscribed you like the video you like the content why are you not subscribed smash that subscribe button now right now and join this family because here we have fun here we don't do boring things okay so subscribe to my channel all right on today's video first of all it's 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 amazing that i am still doing vlogtober because it's been it's been crazy it's been crazy it's been crazy how many crazies have i said that's how crazy it has been but i'm still pushing on so thank you guys for your support so far so you're still on our road to 1000 subscribers i'm still hoping that you all are gonna support my hustle and subscribe okay now if you're new here i am 22 years of age okay i'm 22 years of age as of the day i am recording this video <laughs> as of the year i'm recording this video and I just thought to share the types of jobs I have had so far because so far I have had six jobs. I started working when I was uh, 19, late 19, before I turned 20. That is when I started working and so far I have had six jobs. Okay, I will tell you the duration they all lasted and why I did them and what I learned from them and yeah I'll just give you tips on how to get jobs because I feel like the job market in our country right now is a bit in shambles and especially if you're just you've just cleared school you've just cleared campus you are in that space of wondering so who is gonna employ me I don't have experience these days jobs are advertised and they have like ex job ex work experience 15 years and you're like so us that have graduated what are we supposed to do and so i just want to bring out this humanness that i have that i have also you know looked for work and i have gotten work by god's grace and i will tell you how i have gotten to maneuver my my way into work spaces and and work uh, situations that i never imagined that um uh, I could ever get myself in at my age okay all right sawa sawa first job i ever did was social it was not social media marketing the first job i actually ever did was a corporate communication intern in a bank and that was for my attachment and how did i land that job first tip is use your connections I landed that job through a family friend, someone that was a friend of my parents. Imagine, just imagine, someone that was my parents' friend and I got to know them through another friend of my mom that we used to go to church with. So this one time she asked me, hey, you're in campus, when are you going for your attachment or you've already gone? I was like, you know what, I'm actually going, I'm actually due for attachment at the end of this semester. And she was like, have you searched? I was like, I've not yet started searching. She's like, once you start searching, just give me a call and then I will see if at that time I will have an opportunity for you. So I give her a call uh, once we have finished uh, the semester and we're supposed to be out for attachment and she's like hi good thank you for calling uh, call this number just tell them i sent you and you're gonna go from there trust you me guys making that phone call was so scary because in my head i was like why didn't she just hook me up why didn't she tell the person who i am and what i want and just give me the job why did she make me make the call myself but that shows that you need to have initiative you can't just chill and wait for things to be handed to you you know on a platter that is not how it works i make the call the it was a guy now that i was calling he picks up and he's like hello i'm like hello i'm so and so uh i've been sent by so and so because i'm looking for an attachment and she told me that i might find an opportunity with you at your branch actually so he was like yes uh, you can come to this and this office on this and this day and we'll have a conversation so i go 
and on that day they were having interviews for employees do you know guys i went through that interview like they also interviewed me for that internship like and i was not ready it was so impromptu i just got there and they were like uh you will get in after the last person so i was like oh maybe all these people want internships but some of them were looking a bit older but it never registered on my mind that i had just walked into an interview like that so walked in they asked me the questions i answered them amazingly i did it according to the expectations because they gave me the job and so i started in the finance industry and that was in my wildest dreams because remember i've done corporate communication in class you're told you're gonna work like in a corporate organization in a firm that does this and this and this PR, hr marketing and stuff no one ever told me i could work in a financial institution so now being in a bank it opened me to a lot like i got to learn much more about what i had studied in school because now i had to find ways of applying whatever i had studied in school in this field that i had never been in before so that gave me a lot of exposure my mind was opened up to the great opportunities that lie out there for all of us so don't restrict yourself simply because you have studied this at e, you only want organizations that do that specifically you can go to another organization and just tweak whatever you said just a bit according to just to to be in tune with the sector you're in and you'll be good to go so that is my first tip use your connections because if i had never told that lady that I was looking for an attachment who knows if i would have ever gotten an attachment i don't know if i would have ever gotten an attachment because getting these things is not easy i'm telling you guys people tarmac to find these opportunities for such a long time and i just got it like that just a phone call and just a connection that i had so get connections if you meet someone and they tell you i'm a manager at this and this and this place you'll be like can i kindly have your number so that you know we can talk over a few things and just in case i need an opportunity you can be a person that can you know mentor me you get like find ways of connecting with people who are in those positions because trust you me those are the people that you're gonna look for okay so i finished my attachment the next job that i got was uh i was a part of a social media marketing team now in 2019 that is 2020 sorry that is when coronavirus hit and i had finished my attachment in march no in february that february when lockdown was announced and covid became a pandemic i was still working there so that last week when now on the monday they came out and said uh work from home don't go anywhere this covid restaurants and when they were doing all that that was my last week at work so i was like oh it's, it's okay i'm just gonna stay at home and wait for this to pass and do online school and just and just wait but then god had other plans for me another connection i had uh a lady that is my really nice friend she's a great inspiration to my life she has made amazing strides in the corporate world and she's doing amazing for herself and for her name she's a friend of mine so i reached out to her this one time and i'm like hi how are you how have you been she's like been good life is good how is work it's it's nice and then i'm like uh, i was actually hoping i could get an opportunity with your organization considering i am home i'm not at school and considering what is happening in the world right now i could really use an opportunity to just learn and not just waste my year just sit and do nothing with my ear and i didn't know that would that would be the beginning of another experience in a different sector and i was just i was just nervous i was just like i don't know what is gonna happen she told me she's gonna look into it and she will give me feedback i forgot about it i moved on i was like you know what if it works if it doesn't it's still okay i will be fine and that's my second point you need to be a risk taker when i was approaching her i didn't know what was gonna happen i was just like if it works well and good if it doesn't it's okay it's okay i will find another opportunity and that is what gave me that chance if i had not taken that chance i would never have had that experience in that organization so I get called after a week i've actually done a story about this because this was my first ever my first ever job as a content creator they wanted me because i was a content creator and that was amazing i will link that video in the description the whole story is there 
but just to recap they call me for an interview i pass it they give me the job and they offer to pay me guys hey i was just like what did you say they were like yeah we're gonna be i was like huh wow i didn't know i could be paid to do what i love doing like literally just do what i do on a daily somebody was gonna cash me a check at the end of the month and tap my shoulder for doing what i love doing i was excited i was through the roof i was just i was pumped and that job was in the hospitality industry and i enjoyed it you know i enjoyed it i learned a lot about marketing of restaurants and fun places and recreational facilities what to say how to say it how to be catchy in your captions how to post on twitter that experience exposed me to twitter i never posted on twitter i was just on there to follow people and see what they're saying on twitter that gave me so much growth like that just opened my eyes to a whole other world and it also increased my capacity as a content creator so apart from using the skills i had learned in school from marketing i was using the skills i had learned i had taught myself in content creation so as i was saying it gave me exposure from what i had learned in school and it also gave me exposure in my creative life as a content creator so I even got to meet other content creators, create friendships that I, I still have till date. Those are people that I know if they were to get an opportunity where a content creator is needed, they would give me a call and I would get that job. You get. So that was my second job and it taught me so much, guys. It taught me so much to find my voice, to do what I love, to give my A game. Because we'd like wake up very early in the morning to post on Twitter. Any, it challenged me in a very positive way and I really, really loved that job. So from that content creation job at that organization, I got uh, another side hustle that i was doing but not this time it was in music so i was a bgv for music so someone would record their song and then i'd come and do the other voices for them like that was a thing and i did it three times for someone that i know and my goodness when at the end of the day like i would get cashed my money i would just be like wow i can use this to make money I'm using my talent to make money that opened my eyes and that is literally my other tip don't sit on your talents and your abilities if you can dance go check out a dance school near where you stay do they need an instructor do they need a dancer if you can sing check out studios around you do they need a voiceover artist do they need someone to do their bgvs once someone records a song use your abilities don't just sit on that talent and decide it's gonna work when it works no leverage on that ability because in this job i leveraged on my ability to sing and guys i made money from that until if today someone were to call me and ask me can you do bgv for me for my song i'll be like yes i have an experience i have done it before and i'll get a job you get me so even as you finish school or even you're in school and you're looking for a side hustle leverage on your abilities if you're good at marketing start selling something you get buy some shoes sell them to your friends buy clothes post them on instagram do something do something with those abilities because that ability could be the door that you're waiting for for you to blow up you might be sitting on the greatest thing that people have ever seen in the marketing industry so i leveraged on my music abilities and guys i never thought never in my wildest dreams did i ever think that was something i could do and get money off like for a living i never thought it was until that time that experience opened me to that possibility so even if right now i would want to go into the music industry like full time and just do bgv i know i can i have done it before voiceovers i know i can i have done it before so leverage on your abilities leverage on what you're good at be it drawing whatever it is use it find a way of using that to earn you some money because at this day and age all of us need to be earning something like the economy is wilding all of us need to be earning something okay that's another job i had then after that singing job i did 
So now this is the craziest one, guys. This is the craziest of the craziest of the craziest of the craziest. I remember telling uh, the person I was staying with at the moment, like, I want to go and do this. And they were like, are you sure it's someone you can trust? I was like, yeah. Are you sure you're gonna be okay with all the workload that will come with you just offering yourself for this? And I was like, yeah. So a friend of mine had a kid. She birthed a baby. A very Right now that baby is a year plus. He's big. And the time for her to go back to work came. And it was during COVID time. And she didn't have someone to stay with, the, with her baby. Her sister was around, but she was also going to work. So, like, it was just a jumble up of things. And it was so... It happened so quickly when she realized it. It was, like, Sunday and she was needed in the office on Monday. And the partner could not because Alikoa Bado, he was also at work. So, randomly, we are just talking because I had visited her before and I knew it was almost time for her to go back to work. So, I just called her that evening. I was like, hi, girl. How are you doing? How is baby? How is your hubby? How is the family? How are you feeling about work tomorrow? I hope you're excited. I hope you have your outfit set up. Like, you know, like that, just, just catching up, you know, gassing her up because... Guys, after staying out of the office for a minute, you sort of kind of feel some type of way going back. And then she's like, hey, in fact, I even have a, uh, there's something I don't have someone to leave my baby with. And I was like, why? I thought you got someone. They were like, ah, oh, that one was not nice. They already left. And now I am, I'm literally stranded. I don't know what to do. I was like, you know what? As you look for someone, I am just at home. I can request uh, my guardian to let me come check uh stay with your kid for like a few days as you find someone because she was in the process of finding someone else she was like ah okay amazing that's a good idea so it just started like that and because we were we were we are close friends for me it was nothing for me it was just i'm taking care of your baby because i am your friend and then one the next she came from work and she was like wow you have done a lot my she was like me only expected to like sit with the kid i had washed her utensils her house was clean i had i don't if you know me personally i am very very active i would not just sit and just chill no i'll do i'll find something to do so she was like hey now because you're doing a lot i'll have to pay you i was like are you sure she was like yeah imagine see you're doing work why don't i just pay you and guys that is how i got paid to take care of my friend's baby so i went and babysat her baby for two months it was two months it was during covid time when people were just at home doing whatever they love doing i went and babysat my baby and it started as nothing it was just like i'm just gonna shikilia you a few days because you have to go to work i got paid for that and it was good money it was good money i was like wow this is great but then now i had to go back to school and then she had to get someone else because now obviously the workload becomes more and i i just couldn't so yeah so that's another thing this has to be the craziest job i have ever done i never in my wildest dreams thought that i could babysit someone's kid especially my friends a close friend's kid and they could pay me at that time for me it was not even babysitting for me it was just chilling because at that time we had not put wi-fi in our house and she had wi-fi in her house so i it was not even nothing for me i would just go put on youtube listen to music just chill with the baby it was just chilling but then i got paid for it so also don't but then after that experience my mind opened up to more like right now i am not as picky as i used to be in the job in the job space like if it's an opportunity that i have seen and it's something that is going to benefit me and it's not going to do any harm to anyone i will go for it and do it because it is my life it is my earnings it is my financial stability that i am working towards so yes i have babysat and i got paid for it and the last job i had was as a marketing assistant if you have not watched my video on uh, issues that caused me to leave my nine to five then that is the job that I am now referencing to right now in this video and I had that that was my internship and I got it through a friend also so no before I got that one I had another job as uh, a social media marketer for a school and that one was nice also I stayed with my sister that was really nice I had so much fun doing that 
how had I forgotten that job? So I landed it through a connection, through a friend of a friend. They were like, I'm looking for someone. And I was like, why not? I'm going to go. I went for the interview, guys. I was not qualified. So they picked the other lady I was at the interview with. Then after two months, I was called. They were like, ah, so this lady has got an emergency. Can you come and sit in for her for the weekend? I was like, yeah, if you all are paying. They were like, yeah, we're going to pay you, of course, for your time. I went. Then she extended. She stayed for she extended her leave for another week so i stayed there for a week another week and then when it when she came back and it was time for me to leave they were like uh do you mind just staying because your services are really useful the workload is lighter for everyone because we are more as a team and that is how i got the job don't sit down and say oh they want a specific type of thing if you feel like you can do it take that chance take that chance walk into that interview room and when they ask you why you deserve that job tell them why you think you deserve that job and look them in the eyes and you'd never know. you never you just never know because that is how i landed that job i went for that interview and i was like it's cool if i get it it's fine if i don't it's okay i went i didn't get it two months two weeks later no a few months in fact two months later I get my call and i remember when i went for that interview i had prayed with a pastor friend of mine i remember coming home when they called me to go just sit in for the weekend i remember i told him we i'm praying that this is going to be a permanent situation and god made it permanent for me because i worked there for was it five months five months it was crazy it was crazy so yeah i did that and then now the nine to five one that I had referenced to before. That one was my last one. I was an intern doing uh, marketing, mostly social media and market social media marketing for the organization. And the whole story is in that video. So, what are my main tips? Don't be closed minded. Be open to new ideas and new ways of using your knowledge. Use your talents and abilities. Leverage on your connections leverage on your connections and be a risk taker i hope that this video on the jobs that i have had as a 22 year old girl encourages you to go out there to live your dreams to send out that cv to start that business to write that song to write that book and to go and make money out of your abilities i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you like these types of videos Tell me in the comment section and I will definitely do more. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.